Thing. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready now. It's going to be the first map coming up here. Second semi-final of the course at DreamHack Masters. It's on Dust2, North versus Mouse Sports. So let's get this game underway now. CT side for North and Mouse Sports on the T side. And they've got uh, pretty much no equipment whatsoever to try and fight with. No smokes to try and close the distance. It's just going to be run and gun. Well, here they are running. Here comes the gunning. And yeah, they, they make it look like it's going to be a cat hit. That's a big fight for Nika to win. AZ can't do anything. There's no smoke to prevent. Then picking, getting picked off from CG spawn. Valda's got to hold this. They're coming up above him. He's got one. He can't control for the second. And Rops is lurking. Very, very hard position for Valda to try and hold once they're airborne and jumping in. And Rops waiting. Oh, oh my god. Missing a couple of shots. Kirby's right next by. He wants it. But he's not going to get it. Chris J will take him out. And that's Mouse Sports winning the pistol. That was. You see the, the penalty in Counter-Strike for even just a little bit of doubt, a little bit of a missed aim there, and it's all it takes. Rops just needs to take a deep, deep breath after that one. Just relax a little bit, forget it happened, shake it off. A couple SMGs on the mouse sports side. They really had to fight for that one, and not a too heavy of an investment from North. Three scouts, though. That's, I mean, the rest of them have not bought all the way up, so AZ and MSL, well, no, but you mean just MSL yeah, has some money. Jesus, I didn't even notice the three. That's, un, that's unreal. That's a huge investment, actually. They're all forced up into this, except for MSL for the AWP, but yeah. How have, I mean, it's dust too, right? The map kind of allows for it. You get you get one more tag like that, and you know mouse sports are going to start to feel very nervous about the situation. Going for the pit fight. Very dangerous. They want that headshot. Now they've at least heard two of the scouts, no, uh, mouse sports. They should be able to maybe put that into play here and just think, what do we do? The smokes could obviously... Those scouts are really going to be limited by the smokes, that's for sure. And Oscar really wants it. Waiting for it. Now he's tagged up as well. And that's that second tag I was talking about. It does slow them down a lot. Hoping to catch someone through. Nico on the other side. Scout. This is almost sort of just pure no-scope range. And not going to make it work. It's a good recovery here. Excellent, in fact, from our sports. Yeah, it's a cool idea as well. They got the tags they wanted. Just couldn't complete any of those kills. And even the boost up behind that smoke. Because if anyone was softened up... Maybe that P250 or CZ could have done some work and cleaned some things up. Mouseports get away with a second round, not taking any damage in terms of player loss or economy loss. Oh, just shooting each other in the feet by now. Right in the booties. Yeah, you, you don't want that. I don't know if there's such a thing as toe replacement surgery, Moses. Can that be done? Uh, yeah, probably. Can't you start, like, attach your thumb and everything to, to toe? Toe stumps. Yeah, but then you'd be missing a thumb, surely, right? Yeah, good point. Maybe it doesn't have to be your own one, I don't know. Would you ever rather have a thumb or a toe? That's a hard question to answer, really. <laughs> I, uh, I think we'll, we'll have to give, give that a little bit of a, just a, a moment to think about. Two to nothing for Mouse Sports. This one should be a little bit, uh, a little bit easier. Although there are two, still two scouts on the board. AZ's got armor as well, so some danger. Even just one of those headshots, Valda or AZ, if they deliver, can put Mouse Sports on the back foot. Looks like they want to challenge a little bit. Oscar, a low risk battle for him to take. And this time, Mouse Sports spreads out. They don't go for that long control quickly and early on. They're going to see if there's any aggression, any pushes, but equally, North doesn't want to do any of that because they want these scouts to go to work. They want to get some tags with this before really deciding where they want to attack. Ooh! That's more than just a tag, isn't it? They just I don't, ran I don't into think a they bullet. do a head replacement surgery yet, Moses. <laughs> no, but Valda on the other side, it doesn't go down, but 97 damage from that HD grenade. That is... He caught that. Yeah. That's nicely done from Sunny. Kirby was absolutely ready for it. He was actually hoping for um, that kind of a fight. So, four on four, and as you said, Valda very low on health. He is over by the car on long, so this is kind of, like, he has to get the first kill here because they're going to shut him down immediately. The car windows offer absolutely no support. You can shoot right through them with a Glock even. So, it may seem like there's some cover here, but there really isn't. He's completely exposed. One tag, and they should just shoot right through. I'm not sure why he's still alive right now. There's the kill, and finally the Molotov is going to do it, so Mouse Sports could have probably dealt with that a little bit quicker. Three on three now as they try and get up towards that A-bomb side again. There is someone waiting for them on that side, which is Nico. He's not going to be doing much damage in MSL. Slightly long range here with the C-75. set Can definitely work. Some uncomfortable headshots ringing in. North are going to try and put a little bit of pressure on here. 
Yeah, might as well. Oh, there's a swing out wide. Rob gets caught off guard by that, but he recovers quickly. Well played from him and AZ posting up on the scout hook, hoping for a tag. He knows that player is low. It's at the site. Great shot with the USB. It actually, oh my god! So close to being able to adjust. That's got to be exciting if you're a North fan right now. AZ's been playing great this tournament. He's really sort of rediscovered his own potential. And yeah. if that's going to be true in the semifinals too, that would be really something, wouldn't it? Now we've got Oscar and MSL on the other side. So that Orp versus Orp battle, I really want to see how this works out. This is great stuff, though. Before we... Yeah, this is going to be really cool. A little bit light on utility, though. No kits for the CT side. Here we go. One op on MSL. That's on Catwalk at the moment. The other up, Oscar, holding middle, looking for a catwalk push, which isn't going to be coming. Nico just spotting out towards long. And it's all quiet across the map. No one doing anything. Not long control, not something the North want to attempt right now. You can obviously dedicate quite a few people to try and fight and keep the pit here, but... When you have a limited utility, even if you get it early on, it's kind of yeah. hard to hold it, right? Even when you have full utility, it's not an easy place to hold. So, yeah, they're waiting to have all those flashbangs that they can bomb over the walls. Smoke behind Nico. Oscar's situated in pit. Oh, this is dangerous. Nico, can this is see? a weird game. Yeah, can he actually see the edge of it? Oscar definitely saw that. You feel like that's something he's probably practiced because you can see how, much, how careful he was to set it up. So probably had an idea about how that was going to play out. But again, you have to be very, very quick if you want to catch Oscar sleeping. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that kind of a play on a round. You know that Mouse Sports is going to have an AWP. I can understand maybe on a low buy, but that seems like ooh, not really worth the risk. And another one from Oscar as MSL tries to come up to fill the gap. They had to fight for something. And yeah, it's just going to be a save run. Very, very... Interesting, awkward round, but Mouse Sports is going to get four. Yeah, and this can definitely happen. We've seen it before on a map like Dust 2 where you just lose a couple of players and there's no real chance for any kind of reinforcements. So, Mouse Sports, though, are they feeling a bit aggressive maybe? They don't have a huge bank, but they obviously know the North won't be able to buy in the next round if they can steal a couple of rifles here, so... It might be worth it. Uh, you, if you're if you're Mouse Sports, hopefully you've you've talked these kinds of scenarios over because North is one of those teams. They're they're very good and they do this frequently. They make save calls very early on and they they stick to it. So if you're Mouse Sports, you have to be have had a conversation like, all right, guys, if they do one of those early save calls, if they get out, how many people do we want to send? How often are we going to hunt? It looks like they're just content to hope someone is going to peek on that deep platform. You're you're right. The money is not great for the Mouse Sports. Not for those four deaths in the previous rounds. They don't commit to anything. They are up four to nothing, as North have been denied the early stages on Dust2. I, even in the replay, I'm not even sure how he, how he realizes that. It's just incredible. Yeah, it looks a little bit different on his screen, I would imagine, but... Probably, yeah. Just hoping that you can tag someone through that door, but unable to at the moment. So three M4s that were saved. The rest upgrades some pistols, but it's not a very deep investment into this round. We'll see what North can do. Had three men at A-Long this time and don't really get anything out of it. And Kirby is going to be falling back into the middle, so... Slight different setup for North to see if it works better. Relatively another another default type round. Rops in the B-Bop. Great kill from Sonny. Trying to follow it up, and there it is. He finds a second. Now he's going to pick up... He wants more. He wants blood, and he's got three kills. One more inside this B-bomb set. It's Volda, and he's out in the open. He's exposed from so many different angles. Just now gets into cover. But so much pressure. He does get the one kill, but Sonny's going to get four, you would imagine. Gets stolen, but you're absolutely right. No real chance for Valde to follow it up. So, Nico, actually, he's not going for him. Not a really frustrating round here for North. Not so much for Mouseports, though. <laughs> All right. That's phenomenal. Fair play. Yeah, the Finnish fans are here and ready. Should be supporting Sonny. He is uh, an incredible player, actually. He's so much fun to watch, isn't he? They, I mean, him and him and Rops just kind of switched on and came alive on this Mouse Sports team right around the same point. And it's no coincidence that that kind of marks their, their rise to one of the best teams in the world towards the later stages of last year. Timeout for North. They're down zeroed, or excuse me, Mouse Sports. Oh, 
I didn't expect that. So up five to nothing and calling a timeout just to make sure everyone's on the same page. Double up setup coming out for the north side for this defense. Uh, maybe not desperate just yet, but definitely on the back foot. Yeah, they're feeling the pressure. The panel did say they thought Mario Sports were going to have a really good shot at winning this map, so maybe we shouldn't be completely surprised, but um, I still, you know, you don't really want to start a semi-finals feeling this flat. We haven't seen too much explosion out of North yet. AZ and Val have got a couple of kills, but um, we need to see more. Rob's getting close spawn, jumping straight for it, and that's a really good investment taking down Nico. Bit of a follow-up from Kirby. He must know there's a second player here in front of the smoke. And, oh, he almost wins. A very, very close. And now on the other side, if MSL goes down, the A bomb side is just done immediately. So could be another quick round here. Trying to see if they can reinforce it. AC wants to get up there. Rops has at least gone down. In the meantime, the bomb being planted in front. And oh, what a shot from AZ. Taking down Chris. He was just listening for that beep of the bomb. And he got what he needed. Well, MSL holding long. Good kill from Oscar with that AWP playing on Catwalk and retakes already on. Two ops though for the CT side. Oh, AZ! The no scope Oscar gets brought out of the sky and Snax is trapped, but this is where he thrives. This is what he needs. Great headshot. The jumping shot from AZ doesn't work. He's got to pick up the pace. No kid. Snax is aggressive over the top. And North gets dumped on again. Six to nothing. You got to think he was feeling it after those two kills. AZ just. This is the kind of round where I could do it. He tried the jump shot and almost made it work, but not quite. Snacks here with a great recovery after losing a couple of players there. This that's, is such a good start. That's the kind of play you make with your Snacks when you when you realize you're going against two ops. That's why it's so difficult to retake, is it's just so unwieldy. An M4 turning that corner and Snacks is far too exposed and, the, and there's no chance for recovery. Against an op though, it's, it's pretty easy because there's so many different angles that you have to consider. Nice clutch from Snacks and now sports just seemed to be a wrecking ball early on. I mean, we just we mentioned it just a couple rounds ago. And we got to see a great example of how how difficult it is for CT sides to hold this this portion, this corner right here at Long A. So much utility used by North, and they still just lose players and have to spend so much life, so many like actual player resources to have just such a tenuous hold as well. Not even a great one. No, it, like they're, they're just barely trading favorably over at long. It's got to do a bit better than that. And when you lose, when you lose two players at long, that's that's why Mouse Sports was so confident coming up catwalk because they're just like, okay, two defenders at A are, are dead. Either the third guy's either going to be at long, or and Rops will be fine to flank, or or will be at long and be able to take the bomb site. This is just so so easy for Mouse Sports at the moment. It really is. Kind of semi-final beginning that you dream of if you're Mouse Sports, and they're getting it right now. 7-0 in their favor. North back with one AWP. Don't know if they're gonna want to invest into another one. Double up didn't really work for them last time. Yeah, it's just gonna be the one on MSL. Now, how do you change this right now? Because Mouse Sports are having like a very good early default where they just sort of cover everything. It's not exactly easy for them to rush. Like sometimes in the past we've seen you know double boost on catwalk for the CT side to try and fight. This time it's going to be again a little bit fast from Robs getting out on long. Oh, Kirby, big chance to line up for him. Double sprayed out. He's going to be able to get away. Low health doesn't want to give it back. AZ has fallen to snacks, but that's a good start for AZ to deliver. Still a lot of players damaged up, though. Yeah, they're very low on health. MSL, probably heard that one jumping by. Team flash on him, but up on that ramp. Dangerous position for Chris to be in. Snacks is going to pick up one kill, and now North back on three in a three on three. They had the start, but they don't realize Chris is this far up. Look how low they all are. North, they must win this round. They need to convert it. Hiding in the corner, though, is a big play coming out from Kirby. Oh, he got spotted. Chris checking the corner and continuing on. More kills coming through in his favor. And how are they losing this? It was only one real chance, and that was that was for the catwalk player to be a little bit aggressive and try and take that attention away. But with low HP, it's so hard to make that call. That would have been a great crossfire to pull up out of nowhere. And Valda, you almost feel like he has to go for this. He has a kit, he has a Molotov. Throwing that Molotov would give away his position. And what, what is the decision he's gonna make here? Seven to nothing, this would be a perfect time for some kind of a legendary one versus three. Yeah, we had plenty of those in the last semi-final. 
This one, you could tell at North Arb. I don't know if they're starting cold, but they've certainly been shut down by Mouse Bolts, and Valdez just hoping that someone's going to go and peek him. Maybe thinking that, yeah, they're going to expect him to be in the B-bomb side, but that kill comes in so late that it's still almost impossible for him to do much of anything, so he's going to try and see if he can wait it out and maybe stay with his rifle, pick up the AWP in front of him if things go really well. It could get blasted quite far across the map from this position, though, so no, As, no. Yeah, and if it does, it's going to, I mean, he's going to have to go out into the open unless he tries to catch it on the explosion. Rops is at the B bomb site, just pushed all the way through. He's ready to stop all from getting that AWP down to low health. Does he want to go for it? Yes, he does. Perfect play from Rops. This is incredible. Timeout being called now from North. Oh, look at the turner. He does the double check, he yeah. just sees the gun barrel. North are absolutely shook right now. I mean, the timeout's obviously going to be super important here, but mentally, how do you get back into this game here? They're, they're all playing so well right now. There's nobody from our sports who's not showing up for this game. Yeah, the whole team within three frags of each other. The lowest is five. The highest is eight. Tough part for North is, you know, you're down zero to eight. This is exactly what you don't want around where you just can't really buy. You have to go for the half purchase. You have to go for deagles and light armor. You just were right on that cusp of being able to afford rifles, and obviously it, it feels like they want the AWPs, but they've tried They've tried a lot of different ways. Remember, they've tried the double off setup. They had a passive AWP. They had MSL get aggressive at the corner of Long with the AWP. None of it's worked. Yeah, Oscar trying to beat the timing to get down the middle and catch someone jumping past. He did see one person, but that is not really information you can work with for very long. And again, this default... It's really designed just to hold long and hold up a dark on the B side and then take some mid control. And they're doing that so often now. It, it does restrict a lot of the options for North. If they were rolling with it a bit more, if they were just sort of focusing on catwalk and long, then maybe somebody could sneak out a B eventually, could sort of, you know, wrap around that way. We've seen that before. But because Robs is holding that side, it's not possible. And Snacks is on the other side. It, it's great fundamental counter strike here from Mouse Sports. And North hasn't really done anything to challenge it. I think at this point, you may, maybe you do get some kind of aggressive. Maybe you do do a B hauls push and just see what you can find. Perhaps not wanting to risk that play in another gun round when you have no rounds on the board, but maybe on this round it wouldn't have been the worst idea just to see what exactly you're going to find during this default. Here's MSL with the Deagle. Position for a couple of headshots. The flames are going to make it a little bit hard to see what's going on. Tickling Sunny a little bit with that Deagle. And now they're going to get uncomfortably close. Kiebu got the one shot in, but the bomb will still be planted. And that should mean no more threats here for Mouse Forts. Again, just need to hold on to it. Even in these rounds where they've been winning and, you know, they're one versus three, they don't really give anything up, do they? No. And even Oscar's going to come back on Catwalk with Rops. They can work together to make sure no one no one dies to any kind of a play in middle. And North just have no stance in this round. Not even to get exit kills. Sunny with another one. He's, doesn't even have to fight, but he is enjoying it at the moment. He's winning everything. Volda close up. Rops holding the angle. Might not be the worst thing in the world. Holding that armor up here, these two remaining North players. Oh, there's the check. The hard check for Rops. Ooh, nice fight from Caribbean. Oh my god! Can he at least get a gun out of it? No. But he's got three kills. You can see a little bit of frustrated frustration. He deserved that, that AWP. How did he do that? <laughs> how did they, how, I mean, I just don't even know. First kill is great, but it's this last one. He's backing up and still getting it. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah, it was a great show. A lot of fireworks, Moses, but... Um, it's no. not going to change the the scoreline. Yeah, it doesn't really matter either because you're not doing it. I mean, three players from Mouse Sports in that round were already over 10,000. Oh. Look at this fast play right through the smoke. Yeah, they changed the pace on North ready for it. Finally, a little bit of a shot at the back there. Kirby still going down. They have to hold this now, North. They're so far behind in this game. Now they're bumping into somebody, and Chris is going to check the smoke. The efficient way. Bullets right through, taking down Valder, and now he's the... He needs backup, but he needs it really, really quickly. They're going to be coming through that window any second now, and maybe even through up and dark as well. Great timing for Nico. That might save it a little bit. AC missing a chance. And a 2 on 3. And it's even worse. Retaking the B bomb side is way more difficult than retaking the A bomb side. And you're a man down at the same time when you're this far behind. Maybe you just have to go for it anyway.
MSL looking to sneak up through the window. They both have... No, they pick up both orbs, and I think that's the call then. Maybe if it had been in fours, they would have tried, but they want to save the weapons here, and 10 Oh, My God. Yeah, Mouseport's putting on a clinic. That's such a cool round. That that round applies so much pressure to North. You get out mid, you're, you, you know, you're, you're really attacking that B bomb site, and once you get a kill, and once you realize you're kind of stopped from getting into the B bomb site, it's fine to just hit that pause, because you can see... Once you have one kill on a defender of the B bomb site, that second one, AZ, he's so uncomfortable inside the bomb site. So all of his teammates are trying to come through smokes. They're trying to come through to be able to assist and help. And everyone from Mouse Sports is just waiting for that. That's exactly what you're looking for. MSL blocked behind a smoke for the entire round. Volda trying to make a play, dropping off catwalk, especially up 9 0, right? You're trying to be a hero. Even rhymes. Can't be any better than that. I think, I think it's even better. I think actually a lot of the time when you execute that, there wouldn't even be, Kirby wouldn't even be in CT spawn that early on. But so quick. Oh my, God. my lord, taking down AZ. Now there is the double boost up on Catwalk that we talked about. And Oscar just adjusted in the last second. It looked like maybe he heard something there. But they tried to go for it. I almost wish they would have continued because they need some sort of change here. This whole game right now is being played the way that Mouse Sports want it. And there's a little bit of a sneak in from Kirby. This Oscar's is the watching. deep play. Yeah, he absolutely is. They gotta feel so red right now. They're getting destroyed. No mercy from Mouse Sports. Yeah, what is happening? They are winning this game in such a convincing fashion that I don't even North can do right now. They, they must just feel like they're out of air at the moment. Snacks ready to peek around a flashback on the corner. He's gonna go down eventually, but still leaves Valor alone. Shut down from every angle. 11 0. This is, this is amazing right now. I'm so impressed. Well, remember, Mouse Sports. <laughs> <laughs> Mouse Sports got 14 1 last night and a half. So, I mean, maybe they're just taking out some frustrations. North is just the, the unlucky, unlucky recipient. But you can't submit to that, Moses. Especially not given who they took down to get here north. I mean... They've had such a good run, right? That's, this is, that's part of the reason why this is so shocking. Done a remarkable job. Again, the early default holding for exactly this kind of play. It's why you're doing it. Snacks is feeling a little bit lucky out there and he wants to sort of double up on that aggression while Chris is holding the middle. How long has it been in a semi-final since we've seen a performance like this from any team? Yeah, I, I could. I honestly, God, I couldn't tell you. This is unbelievable. Easy, just waiting. They don't even have the utility to really get that fancy. No kits as well. They're gonna clear everything. Ball's onto the ground. Easy's got to take a step back. Oscar is big up. Oh, right through the door. Sunny is just on point. 13 and six. This style, not substance. And that, I mean, North has just countered every move they make. This is why you establish a safe word before you begin. <laughs> yeah, ideally. This is turning into something quite different. MSL and Valder. Just hoping. I mean, it, we probably are at the range now where, where we're talking big individual performances to try and get any kind of thing on the board here. So MSL has come a little bit alive. He had zero kills for a long time, but he's picked up a couple now, and that's going to help them out. Two on two. We've been here before. Valda going to look for the opening. Almost got taken out. Probably should have been a kill. Defending with two AWPs. That could get very interesting. Close range and MSL will take down one more kill. Chris with one turning around. Can he actually steal this dream away? He gets the kill and taking down MSL. Oh, he's cruel and heartless, Moses. He, he, he let them have just the taste. Yeah, he's, he, he gave just a little bit. A little bit of leg and took it away. Chris... <laughs> you know, an old school offer of this Mouse Sports team. He's given the duties over to Oscar, but still showing that he's dangerous. So dynamic with that weapon. And now, if you're north, it's just buy every single round, whatever you can afford. It's not great. And now, Mouse Sports going to pick up the pace out towards long. He's still even used. Max gets two. One in the pit. Chris is going to challenge. He wins that as well. Of course, he does. And now they can... I mean, this is just so fast that north only has two players for the rest of the round. Yeah, Valder covering himself behind that car. 
hoping that someone's going to make a mistake, make a little bit of noise that gives him a at least a clue for when to stand up, because otherwise it's just pure timing and AZ falling back. Not going to be able to be seen by Robs yet, but I mean, it's a two on four, that's one thing, but they're so far apart they can't even help each other out. So, this has gone all the way off the rails, Moses. It really has. It's, <laughs> <laughs> there's no other way to describe it. I mean, there's still just, just under a minute now, and Oscar's still looking for pushes, still looking for that information. And the best thing that Mouse Sports can do at the moment is just group up. I mean, the worst thing that can happen is you have a four on two. As, the, as, as it stands right now, you have a four on one everywhere you go. So just make sure you clear every single corner. Look at all the utility they have as well. Like, they can... Volta's off this, and Volta gets tired. That's the bomb, but he only gets one. Off trained in on his position. Oscar is so fast to help recover and swing over and make sure Volta can do no more than just that one kill. AZ has a... I mean, I don't know if it's necessarily a tough decision, but he has a decision to make if he wants to even go for this. You kind of have to. At this point, there are no really no wrong decisions, right? Like, you just gotta, gotta go with what feels right at the moment. And one versus three with the FAMAS, I mean, it's not like they've been in many more better positions throughout this half, so it's just time. Chris standing up and gets his face blown right off. <laughs> <laughs> what, what can you do? You have to laugh so that you cry, Moses. <laughs> that's that's what we're witnessing here. I even I even feel bad. Do you? No, not really. You do kind of uh, do you have a tendency to uh, to enjoy the suffering of others, don't you? Yeah. What is what is that word in German? It is a phenomenal word. It's uh, Scheidenfreude. Yeah. Yeah. You you look you you feeling a little bit of that? Yeah, I am. I, I mean, <laughs> why not? Got to enjoy it somehow. It's just such a stark contrast between the North that we saw in the group stage and in the quarterfinals, looking great, <laughs> taking down Astralis as well. I mean, and <laughs> it, is, it is only map one and it is dust two, and there are a lot of teams that have been shining with playing this map, maybe <laughs> hardly for this reason. I can't mouse boards are. <laughs> they are pretty unreal. Maybe want to avoid them for a, for, for a little while. I mean, going into the major as well, how many people are even going to try and play dust two against these guys now? That's a, I mean, that's a good point. How many people have even tried to work on their Dust2 just even in general? So... Quiet way to cross long with the two smokes. They have been spotted. Okay, an advantage for North. Five on four, and I'm not sure they've even had one of these rounds before. What a display. 13-0. But the four... I mean, the five on four retake it's, is cool and all, but they don't actually have a kit right now. So this this lingering around and shuffling about on catwalk is going to come back to haunt them, Oscar. He's just the top of someone's head. The smoke's going to make him a little bit irrelevant for a while. But still, time is running out really quickly. This has to be right now for North, and they're trying to see if they get closer. Kirby getting one kill there. It's still a four on three. Rob's coming in with a play. Oh, he misses the first shot, but he will follow it up with a great double kill. And they still get shot down. Cover your eyes, Moses. This is... This isn't pretty anymore, is it? No, it's really not. This is getting real. I mean, it's been real bad for, for North for some time. Rob's even almost making a mistake. We saw actually one of those in the pistol rod. Remember, he missed that initial shot. He had an easy one. He said he recovered. Chris probably would have won the one versus two anyways, the way this game is going. Nothing going right for North. They haven't been able to play passive. They haven't been able to play aggressive. They haven't been able to get the ops going, either double up or single up. This is like if Apollo Creed just kept beating up on Rocky until he killed him. <laughs> this is how this story is right now. Well, this there's is a, if, like, there's no comeback. This is he a, just dies. This is Apollo Creed. You know, no one ever throws in the towel against, against yeah, Drago. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. There's no towel to be thrown in. They can't, they can't get out. Well, they can, but um, not with any kind of a victory. Unbelievable, isn't it? Snacks again. Okay. It's the same default because... North, they don't know how to break it. And if they don't break it, Mouse Hordes know how to set up from all these positions. Like, they get the part of the map they want, North can't challenge it, and then that, that's every round. Surely not. <laughs> sure. If MSL had went down there, I think he just would have started crying in the booth. <laughs> I think he would have just, I'm done. Oh, man. Look how patient they can be as well. Just so confident. Not a care in the world. No worries. North is just walking right into everything. Poor MSL. He's walking up and he's just going to get picked off. So much open space and Oscar's going to eat that all day long with the AWP. Yeah, oh, 
hoping for the headshot angle, but the problem is staying here for another five seconds and he's gonna get shot at the back, so just the one smoke, a couple of flashbangs to make sure the cross is as safe as it can be. Always wanna try and do that. They get the bomb site five versus three. And nothing so far has inspired us to believe that North could actually make this work. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a half like this in the semi-final, at least not that I can recall. Valda gets taken out by Sunny and AZ and Kirby. I don't know. I mean, they're even getting flanked. <laughs> this, is, this is so unreasonable. AZ, the last one left, 15 and 0. <laughs> this is so incredible. <laughs> Stunner, help us out. What is going on? Uh you, you know, Anders, I think it's something to do with the simulation, this, that, and the other, but it's not looking pretty for this North squad right now, I can assure you that. But what it is looking pretty for is a fan in this zone who's going to have the chance to sit in the Asus ROG VIP sofa. Not the casting couch, Jason. Nice try. All right, you guys ready for this? Haha. Uh -huh. All right, you and a friend get to come down and sit on the sofa. And with that said, itching ever so closer to the price pool is this Mouse Sports lineup. How does that make you feel, Jason? It makes me feel great. I mean, at this point, I'm all in. At this point, I want the 16-0. You know, I'm on the Mouse Sports hype train, at least for this first map. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I would love the 16-0 as well. I feel like they've, earned it. they've definitely deserved it. You see them obviously feeling great inside of that booth here north had to be so confused how mouse sports could just slow play essentially every single round and still know exactly what's coming at all times they, they just had to be so lost it's like they slow played it then there was a one round where they rush middle <laughs> that just makes you uneasy You're like wait what what <laughs> i'm not laughing at north right now i'm just i'm just laughing at the general absurdity of what we're seeing and they're just going to challenge the middle sunny occupying that mid door the smoke gonna fail. That's supposed to go up on top of the box so that you can run this direction. And now Oscar's seeing it coming. He wants the headshot. Just one pistol round. Mouse for to be a huge victory for them here on map number one. And Sunny hiding inside of it in the middle. There's Oscar. There's snacks to follow it up. And North, they just don't know what to do. Mouse for in this first semi final is just looking amazing. A little bit of a return there, but Chris is still gonna be taking down Nico. And they're bringing it back now, trying to see if they can run the other direction. Hasn't now they're starting to realize, and the hunt is absolutely on. Mouse Sports, they want the 16 0. They want to make that statement. They're going to be in the window. Jump. Oh, oh Valde! Just taking Robs out mid air. A two on two. See if they can recover and save a little bit of dignity in this first map. Valde going to be trying to see if he can make the crossover. Oscar shooting them in the back. That's almost a kill. Going to go for the repeat. Just snuffing it out. He's looking for the long range headshot. But now they're both up here in the bomb. It should finally be going down this a little bit now. That could work for North. A very slim, a tiny, tiny glimmer of hope, Moses. They're just waiting for it. Both have P250 USP there. So some weapons to fight with. Now through the door. Looking for the kill. AC missing it. And there it is. For Mouse Sports in the first map of this semi final. What a, what a scoreline.